Gary Young, congratulations on your honorary doctorate from the University of Warwick. Thank you very much. How's Thank it you. feel? Feels great. It's always nice to, particularly to have your body of work um, celebrated and, and honoured in that way. I'm very grateful. So you studied languages at university, That's right. um, and your career is all about communicating ideas to people. Mm. Um, what do you think is the importance of a degree like linguistics? Well, um, I studied French and Russian. I studied to be an interpreter. I think, first of all, particularly if you're British, and British people often seem to think that the best way to communicate with people who don't speak British, uh, speak English, is to speak louder uh, <coughs> and more insistently. That. Um, it's about connecting with the rest of the world, not only on your own terms, and particularly in this period with Brexit and so on, there is value in that. Um, for me, as a journalist, what it did was teach me the power of language. Um, any language, the ability to manipulate words, to um, search for real meaning and then to do something with it and that's for me was a transition from studying languages to being a journalist. So in your career you're an award-winning journalist and author, you're editor-at-large of the Guardian newspaper um, and you've made documentaries that have really touched the nerve with many people of all different backgrounds. What piece of advice would you give to someone who maybe wants to be the next Gary Young? Uh, well, don't definitely don't be the next Gary Young because that spot is already taken. Be yourself. Be yourself in whatever way you see fit. I was a young boy with a left-wing background uh, from a working-class family who studied languages and then came into journalism. Whatever that person wants to do will be different. They will come with different ingredients and different interests. Anything can be interesting and anything can be um, uh, exploited is the wrong word, but anything can be pursued in the interest of journalism. So follow your interests, not your dreams, but uh, follow your interests and make them count and make them matter. And let other people tell you no. If there's something that you want to do and you're not sure whether you can do it, try. The world will tell you no, you don't have to tell yourself no. And I guess we've already touched on this, but if there was one piece of advice that you could give to all of our graduates today, um, what would that be? It would be that you only have one life and people spend an awful lot of time with deferred gratification thinking well maybe I'll do this some other time or maybe I'll do this another time or maybe that you really need to do the things that you want to do that you need to do while you're on the planet and that uh, so long as you leave the world in a better place than you found it you leave the people that you meet in a better shape than you found them then really do what you've got to do don't obsess about possessions because you can't take anything with you you only have this one life and when you leave they stay here pursue experiences not things and really own your life you don't need to spend an awful lot of time with people that you don't like you don't have to spend a whole lot of time doing jobs that you don't like unless you know that they're going to lead to something that you do like do what you got to do while you're here in the planet you're only here for you you only get one shot Thank you very much. Congratulations again. Thank you.